Welcome back now to Primetime Sports Monday. The Reggae Boys suffered their heaviest ever defeat in a home World Cup qualifier after falling 3-0 to Panama at the National Stadium on Sunday. Simon Preston has our review. For the first time in almost two years, the Reggae Boys took the field at the National Stadium, also known as The Office. There were no fans in the stands, but having lost their opening match to Mexico three days earlier, the boys knew this was a crucial game to get points on the board. Panama have never lost a World Cup qualifier in Kingston, and they were aiming to continue that trend against the Theodore Whitmore coached reggae boys who made eight changes. After 14 minutes, it was the visitors who took the lead through defender Andres Andrade. The 22-year-old was scoring his first goal for Panama after intercepting possession and taking the ball off the feet of debutant Kemar Roof. The Panamanians were given a lot of space to work with in the Could first half, and 25 Barcelona's. minutes later, their lead there. was doubled. The Eric dangerous Davis Rolando Blackburn, who was born to Jamaican grandparents, no placed a further dent into the country of his heritage just, with his ninth international goal. When Blackburn Jamaican scores for Panama, Panama one. never loses, and Los Canaleros were on course for victory. Right in the second half, the Jamaicans, who made two changes at halftime, stepped up their intensity and placed some pressure on the Panamanians. Their best chance came from a header from Kemar Roof, but his effort was pushed over the bar by Luis Mejia. Mm, but the Panamanians here. showed their spark in front of goal again late on, as Cecilio Waterman made it 3-0 in the 81st minute. This was the first time Jamaica were losing a game by a three-goal margin at home ever in World Cup qualifying. Reggae Boys defender Liam Moore fell to the Jamaicans, gave Panama too much time on the ball. Yeah, we was, um, we was too open tonight. It was too easy. Uh, they cut for us on numerous times. Um, yeah, there was a lot of occasions on the game where it was 4v4, sometimes even 5v4. Um, and that's something that we need, to, we need to sort out moving forward. You know, we've got a long-term goal. Um, but obviously with results like that, that won't be possible, so we need to fix up really quickly. Head coach of the Reggae Boys, Theodore Tapa Whitmore, was critical of the team's performance. Um, well, especially the first half, I think it was em embarrassing to say the least. I think the, the commitment and the desire, we didn't get that today. We, um, the second half was a um, bit more encouraging, you know, but after conceded two goals, it was a uh, Uphill task. We didn't close down, um, especially in the central midfield, we didn't close down uh, the Panamanian. Um, we allowed them room to play, we allowed them space to play. Um, in the session yesterday, we, 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 we planned to press the Panamanian team, but I think this afternoon we, we shun our responsibility. The reggae boys, who sit last in the standings without a point and a minus four goal difference, will be hoping to end their streak of four straight losses as they face Costa Rica in San Jose on Wednesday. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports.